What it do, what it do. Uh, you're joining here. You're joining uh, us again. Transferable Experience Podcast. It's your boy, Ju. You know, I'm here with my boy, Ed. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh-huh. Here we are. You know what I mean? We back at you with episode 14. That feels right. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> I think it's 14. You know, we, uh, we've we been doing the thing for not a long time, but you know, for a good amount of time. And it's been good. Yeah. And we want to just say thank y'all uh, this far. I know, you know, I'm heavy on the gratitude. Mm-hmm. Uh, so appreciate y'all for checking us out, man, joining us, man. You know, as we all, you know, we always say do all the things on all the things. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Um, So I'm going to get right into it, man. My week has been kind of hectic. Ed. Like, excuse me, I got a lot of things coming up this weekend. Mm-hmm. Between this weekend and next weekend, and I I gotta have I don't know preferential judgment on the things that I do, um because I ain't gonna lie, it's just not enough time. So a lot of things fell by the wayside this week. Yeah, I worked out once this week, which is a low number for me. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's like okay. seriously low. Yeah, I worked out Tuesday, but these last couple of days, I just had to decide between. If I do this, I'm not going to be able to do this. Mm-hmm. And if I do this, I'm mm-hmm. not going to be able to do that. And some things have to take precedence. You know what I'm saying? I have to really yeah. evaluate myself. Like, dang, what, what mean the most to you? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which can be a hard question sometimes. But I don't know. I kind of felt, I was kind of flustered this week, man. Like, I was kind of feel like I was juggling a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And uh, the podcast is always a great way for me to like detangle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of like talk my thoughts, my thoughts through. Uh, you know, you always a good person to help me with that anyway, regardless. Um, so, you know, I got a birthday coming up, my mother's birthday. You know, what I'm saying? I want to shout her out. Yep, happy birthday, happy birthday, mama! Hey, she listened too. <laughs> 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 for those that don't know, like we can check out the analytics, and then there's like a good percentage. Of the 45 to, like, what is it, like, 59 age, right? Mm-hmm. It's a good percentage of that. I'm just like, who is that? Because I know it can't just be my mama, but I know it's her. She kind of gives me feedback on the podcast. She like what we do, and uh, she like the things we talk about. So, uh, shout out to you, mama. I love you, man. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Ha- Mitra. Man, happy birthday, Michi. You know, we love We're going to give a little round of applause. Yeah, so give us some to you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> she deserves it. Go ahead, give her a sound effect. You know what I'm saying? And then, Mama, this I'm going to test you if you are listening. If you're listening by now, uh, I hope you had a great birthday. And I hope the surprise was great. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know you probably cried and everything. This is me speaking in the future. But enough of that. Uh, well, not enough for my mama. I love my mama. But moving on. Um, how you doing? I'm sorry. I know I got straight to it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Good man, I, uh, mm-hmm. it's kind of the same. Where I'm like, we got something, a big deadline at work, and it's like that time that you need time to move slow so you can get everything done. Mm-hmm. It's just not happening. Just zooming by, man. Mm-hmm. Just zooming by because mm-hmm. it's over with pretty much. And mm-hmm. I I remember Monday, <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny, man, because I be going into the week like, man, another week. But then I look up and it's like yeah. we're doing this, and this is always a great a, a great thing to cap off the week or whatever. Um, but no, so work is good. Yep, that's good. I'm mm-hmm. still working out in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you focus on something every day? I think I asked this before, but you just get it in all over. All uh, over no, I do. Uh, upper, uh, I do three days mm-hmm. upper body, two days lower body. Or mm-hmm. if I end up working out six days out the week. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The weekend is always tricky. I always try to work out at least one of the days, mm-hmm. either Saturday or Sunday. Because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. it, it's bad when I take <laughs> the entire weekend off. I so mean, yeah. yeah. I got to balance that out mm-hmm. these days. So mm-hmm. one of the days, but I, I, I allow myself that grace and freedom to just see what my schedule looking like. And just you do what you feel like. Okay, this yeah. is what I'm feeling today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. But nah, man, um, that's good, man. I mean, I got it in there one day, but it was a good workout. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't like, I didn't mosey through it. 
Uh, we kind of hit it running, and, and it was good. You know, that did a, a lot. I think that gave me a little boost to get through the rest of the week because it started on a high note. Yeah. Really started from the weekend because we was, you know, say we was boom, 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 and everything. And then uh, going into the week, I had to kind of like shake back. That's the crazy thing about working out. It's not like it doesn't have a, a foreseeable end to it, like a job. You know, like once mm-hmm. you know I, I've worked enough, okay, now I can retire. Like we gotta mm-hmm. do some form of exercise for the rest of our lives. Yeah, we do. I was just thinking about that because I was like, man, that seemed like such a struggle and a task. Like when you was talking about making time for it, but I was like, mm-hmm. it's just something we gotta do. Yeah, or yeah. We should. Yeah, do. or not. Well, well, you know, some people make it a hard line, like you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a hard line for you. Like I gotta do this. Yeah. And other people just, you know, they, they make that decision uh, elsewhere. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but kind of just to, like, go out there, and this is something else I've been thinking about by the week, I mean, throughout the week. Um, with my mom's birthday coming up, I'm going down there to visit her, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm going back home. You know what I mean? Back to the home, back to headquarters. Back HQ. to the <laughs> HQ, you know what I mean? And, and I love it. I, I love it out there. And uh, it helps it helps me slow things down because of the pace yeah. of the town in general, um, and it makes me like I think to myself, what's different from home than it is when I'm out here? You know what I mean? Yeah. Besides the fact that I'm kind of detached from a lot of it's 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 a funny conundrum, right? Mm-hmm. Because I have a lot of resources at home and people, yeah. but I have a lot more. I have a lot of resources out here with just things. Yeah, if that I, makes sense, you yeah. know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. like if I need something, I could call somebody out there. But if I need something out here, I could probably find it. And it's yeah. probably like an automated way to get it done. Whether that be like, I don't know, like a DoorDash thing or somebody meet me there, blah 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 blah. blah you know what yeah. I mean? And uh, and I think that with me being out here, I know it's been like a couple of months were going on almost coming I'm up on a year. To a year didn't yeah, about to, I mean though. like I mean like a cu- hey, it feels just like a couple of months cuz it moves so fast. Yeah. And I just started thinking about like okay, how did I even like get to this point, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I don't know when 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 you go to a new place, let me ask you this. When you go to a new place, what is it that you know you need to do to make it like your home or Oh, like when I'm moving to a new place? Yeah, or like or I don't when, be there for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Extend yeah. the period of time. Actually, okay, let me ask you this. Just, just you can just give me a number. Mm-hmm. How many different places have you stayed outside of our hometown? Are you naming just cities? I mean, like counting cities? Yeah, or what, like wherever you like, wherever you were. What? Well, yeah, wherever you were. Uh, like four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like four different places. I think mine is more like I'm I'm touching like 10, 10. I'm like 9, 10 ish because I went a lot of different places. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, um, and it's funny, man, because uh, my girl was asking me the other day, like, just to ask me about the stuff I did. And I just realized, like, I stayed in a lot of different places. And, like, I don't know what made it so, I don't know what made it so exciting for me. But I guess it was just a thrill of learning a new place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I like doing it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I started thinking to myself, I'm just like, okay, what what things do I need to set in place to make a, a place my home? Or how do I feel like I'm acclimating to an area? Right? Yeah. Because that's a big thing for people. Like, we live in a world now was very transient. You know what I mean? Like people were, okay, I say this pre COVID, it was very transient. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now with the with the with the booming of the working from home aspect, you know, it you know, it might calm down a little bit. But before that, you know, people our age were just up and moving across the country. Yep. You know what I mean? And and, and when that happens, it's like it can be a you can it can be scary. Just to put it plainly, it can be scared because mm-hmm. it's like you don't got your things, you don't know where you are, blah blah blah. Yep. Don't have your bearings. Yeah, getting your bearings and everything. Like, and I don't know. I want to. I want to uh, ask you about that because I know you you live in a, different, a couple different places either. Like, how do you even go about like, you know what I'm saying? Like getting comfortable in a spot or like, um, like knowing that you live here. Like, when do you know that you live somewhere? Me personally. 
I know I, I live somewhere when I like have my spots that I like. Okay. And it can be like, mm-hmm. they can fall into different categories. That can be like mm-hmm. food, where I shop. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, if I got a mechanic, okay, like yeah, barber, yeah, like just stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's when I know I live a place when I got like those essentials. Now, my essentials mm-hmm. for me to feel like acclimated these days, I gotta, I gotta have me some food spots. Okay, um, that's important. Yeah, I gotta have some food spots, and you and I gotta have food spots for every type of yeah, food. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah. You know, I say like I'm like okay, that's my Chinese place. Yeah, that's, that's why my, I get my fried chicken. Yeah, that's I gotta why I have my, a place for my fried chicken. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, oh yeah, this my, my taco spot. But this why I want Tex Mix. I know in my mm-hmm. barbecue place. So I think that was like the biggest thing for me, like getting acclimated. Because like mm-hmm. I just remember like when I first came out to Dallas. Luckily. I had uh, I was staying with Kendall, mm-hmm. so like I had like kind of a guide when he wasn't at work. But it, it was so like night and day. Like mm-hmm. at first, it was like when he was there, okay, I, we was gonna go eat here. Uh, but then like when he was like mm-hmm. the days he was at work, and I was just that had to of, figure it out. Yeah, man. figure it out, figure it out. And which was, was good, you know. Mm-hmm. Just started exploring, and you know, it's kind of just all trial and error. Try mm-hmm. something. No, this ain't it. This mm-hmm. ain't it. But yeah, I think the food one that's like that's mm-hmm. a pretty important one for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, then the next one probably is like where I'm a grocery shop at. Yeah, yeah, because like, you got to provide for yourself. Yeah, man, I gotta know what the where I'm a grocery shop at. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, it comes down <laughs> to proximity mostly. Okay, and I was then, about to ask you like, what's the what's the what's the what's the check boxes? Man, like, it's really proximity. I mean. Mm-hmm. You never go wrong with Walmart, but yeah, that's the one stop shop. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Uh-huh. But I, uh, it's just proximity. But I just got to have one that I enjoy going to. Because mm-hmm. honestly, like now, man, I it's a Walmart that's closest to me. But I go to the neighborhood Walmart that's about maybe three minutes further because mm-hmm. I don't like the hoopla of a regular Walmart. <laughs> It'd be too much. I too, like the, too much people, too cluttered. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. bro. It'd just be too big and just too much. Uh-huh. The little neighborhood Walmart, <laughs> I get in, I get out. Uh-huh. It ain't going to never be, it's never a crowd. It's never anything crazy going on. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. never hard to find a parking spot. Okay. So I just okay. like that because it's more of a pleasant shopping experience. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I think one of my big ones, I like, I have a process where I find a gas station that I like mm-hmm. that's around me. Like, it could be a gas station around the corner, but I don't really rock with Bo. That's the cashier. <laughs> like, I don't rock with him, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, dude, that like, I don't know, like, it's a stickler for the cups of ice and yeah. stuff like that. You know, like, the little mm-hmm. things. Like, man, like, I live here, so I'm going to be going here. Yeah. Getting my gas, you know what I'm saying? Getting my vices, getting my my, my ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay, you know what I'm saying? I smoke, so it's just like, dang, you going to give me, you know, wh- why y'all blacks always stale? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you like you know what gas stations got the stale blacks, and you know which, which gas stations got the good real lows. And the good, you know, things like that. And it's just like how they treat me in there, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's a process. Like you said, it's a yeah. trial and error. Like, I can go to a gas station. I probably go to like three times. And it'd be like, oh, all right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. By that fourth time, like, you could tell when they start to notice who who be there a lot. Yeah. Because he would be like, yep, I know what you need, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get it. Mm-hmm. Okay, he, he know me, like. He, you know, like I rock with Bo, like I vibe with him, like yeah. I could come here. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's funny because I find that to be, I find that the most welcoming ones be the most hood ones, like, like, like the big chain, like the QTs, like yeah, they all right, but it's like it's a business in there. You, don't you get know that personal touch. Yeah, you're looking I, find for. I, find, I do. I need the personal touch. Yeah. And that goes, and I think that's the ingredient in a lot of the things that I look for. Yeah, because everybody like to feel welcome. Yeah. They like they like to feel seen. And like I said, I don't know if that's even amplified more because we're from a small town where you can literally go somewhere and mm-hmm. they know you are like, oh, you look like a mm-hmm. oh yeah, so oh like, yeah. yeah. So it's like yeah, it's just that personal touch that you be looking for. Because I'm I'm the same way. Like mm-hmm. I don't like when it's just a. A cold transaction, uh-huh. a place I frequent. <laughs> now you know if it's a grocery store, 
there's mm-hmm. too many people that work there. Cool, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. like my mm-hmm. mechanic, nah. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, nah. I need Dang boy, you got a new haircut. What's up? Yeah, yeah man. Gotta, yeah, we gotta we gotta have a little conversation, and yeah, it, that, it, that's a personal thing. It is funny because it don't never got to be a deep conversation. Just no, one little little yeah. tip. You're like, oh man, you know, you look yeah. good today. Where you going? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A little personal touch. That's the same when I was a younger man when I mm-hmm. my liquor store man. Oh yeah, picking yeah. that out, man. Yeah, yeah, that liquor store man. too. Cause then <laughs> shout out. I ain't gonna shout it out. We're not getting paid for that. <laughs> you know where you at on Riverfront, man. Oh, that okay. Was the one, man. Okay, okay, for sure. But for yeah, because that was a trial and error too, man. And mm-hmm. we had formed, yeah. But let me. I would tell you because I had I had a gas station that didn't. Mm-hmm. I went to school at Denton in UNT. I had a gas station where, like, I went there so much. The dude knew me. That was that shell. That shell. Mm-hmm. He was like, if I was broke or I was waiting on his paycheck, he'd let me get some gas. Let me get a 40. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just pay. He like, man, just pay back, like, next time. The next time I come, I just mm-hmm. pay for that and whatever else I was getting. And I loved that. I was like, that lets me know I'm not stuck out. Yeah. I think that's what it go back to. And I also noticed that for me, it would also plays a part in it's just the path that I take to get somewhere. Yeah. Like, is it like a crazy turn? Is it like a busy street that, like, if I'm not looking, I'm getting side swiped and don't know? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just the path that I take. Yeah, that's 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 a part of me getting acclimated too. Like, I gotta figure mm-hmm. out like multiple routes to get home. Mm-hmm. But like I said. It, I still got that little small town approach, bro. I just got to ride around my yeah, little area. Exactly. Like, I just need to ride around. Like, people that, like, just put the, put the thing in the GPS and just go down the highway. and Yeah. I'm a backstreet dude because I come from a small town. Mm-hmm. I like to know the main way to get there, and I like to know the side way to get there, and yeah. then the other side way to get there. Yeah. Like, how much time do I have? Mm-hmm. Do I need to get there quick, quick? Okay, I know the way. Or if I can mm-hmm. just... Cause like I said, yeah, if I can just go in my own speed and I'm not rushing, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm well, probably if I, gonna avoid the highway. If yeah, I or if I can avoid this this street with a lot of potholes, or like yeah. if I can avoid this street that's just like it's always a long line at the at the at the stoplight. Yeah, sometimes read, it's just I just like going that way more. It's yeah, not, they, it's not the quickest. It's just the way I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> I have that too, man. And I think, and it's funny, man, because like. <laughs> We so uh so country and stuff like that. Like I didn't even bring most people would probably say like the doctor. Uh, yeah, the, just, the medical stuff. I just like see that's just more like yeah, maintenance. Just, yeah. You know. I just Google that and Yeah, I Google that and whatever see what comes. Yeah, see and, yeah, and then I just do that. You know what I mean? I also like to find out how far am I in, how far I am from like the spots. 'Cause I like you know, I like yeah. to go out, I, I like to drink and stuff like that. So I like to figure out, okay, what boy got the, on Tuesday they do the half mm-hmm. off shots, on Wednesday they got the $2 drafts, excuse me, you know, on Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. And I learned those things. Mm-hmm. And that helps for when, like, people come and visit. Yep. If they come and visit, you know what I'm saying, and they like, okay, first of all, they shouldn't just come and say, what are we going to do? I mean, that's a little that's a little harsh. But if they do ask, they're like, okay, we can do this. We can go here. Yeah. On Thursday they got this. On Friday mm-hmm. they got that. Blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? And that that gives me a lot of comfort. You know what I mean? Uh, like those places like that. I think could because I think it taps into what do you view as the things you need to survive? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like you said, like a, a if you you know everybody gonna face car trouble. Like you need somewhere yeah. to you need a resource for that. Yeah, because that, that was a big one for me, man, just finding a mechanic mm-hmm. and not like one of those just like you. Like I say, because I guess we're from a small t- I'd be looking for something with like a personable touch that, mm-hmm. that feel mm-hmm. just personable. I don't want mm-hmm. to just just be a cold transaction, especially with it's something like you provide me with a service that I might need Again. regularly mm-hmm. on a consistent basis. Mm-hmm. 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 You know, like, I mean. For a lot of people, I know that's a barber man. Cause oh yeah, oh I didn't think about that. Uh, when you I know? was still in the game. Yeah, man, I, <laughs> that was a thing, man. And because it always when you move somewhere, 
first thing you do is you go off a recommendation somewhere. True. That's the first thing you're going to do. And then, like, you give them a couple tries, maybe, if it's just, Mm -hmm. you know, that first time is just. And then, you know, you come back and you look at that mirror, you're like, he ain't really. Yeah, it's like. He ain't really making that corner. Yeah, I'm about to say, it don't look like I just got a haircut, but it don't look like I need a haircut. (laughs) I don't don't want to feel like that getting out the chair. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. that was that worst feeling when it was like. (laughs) Well, I mean, how much was it? Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that'd be a process, man. And it's like, mm-hmm. you know, a barber, that, that's just really personal. Y'all going to have to talk. Well, you, you gonna, hope. Yeah, you hope. I mean, like, man. you go there so often, he going to have to ask about yeah, you. Yeah, bro, because mm-hmm. I, I remember I just had some trial and errors with barbers, man. Mm-hmm. But when I was in uh in my little service program, we were, like, dip, living in different places for, like, months at a time. Bro, it was just... I felt so naked without my barber before before the, the long hair and everything. I was just mm-hmm. like, because you never really know. You don't know. That's like one of the things you don't know until you go. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, yeah, you live some places where there wasn't just too many of us, us around. So that was really hard. It was hard even finding, yeah, like finding a black barber. Like, do you work with, like, black hair? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like. In a lot of places, they didn't. I kind of had a foe by default. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back in that time. And, uh, yeah, I man, I feel so naked. I feel so, like, I was like, ah, I'm, I, I don't I, have- I remember this one barber I went to when I was out there in Houston. Like, he mm-hmm. had got, he told me to hold my breath. And, like, when he got, like, to the front to, like, do mm-hmm. my mustache. And mm-hmm. I was like, <sighs> come on, G. Yeah, that was the last time with him. <laughs> I was like, what do you want you to do? He didn't want you bro. to breathe on Yeah, while he was mm-hmm. getting my, my mustache. And I was just like, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want to breathe on you, but I mean. I don't want, I can't just do this for yeah, 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 forever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was wild. Uh-huh. He was dead serious, too. Mm-hmm. Like, hold your breath. Uh. <laughs> awesome, bro. This is nuts. I, Mm-hmm. Bro, that's sick. That's actually a sick request. I ain't never heard of it. <laughs> that's sick as hell. And I don't, you know, <laughs> we don't we don't curse on this podcast, but that's sick. Well, yeah, that was nuts. That man he told me to hold my breath. But yeah, that was the last time I seen him. But that really is a trial and error. That can take a long time too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And it, and you dang near. I know, like, how I be figuring that out. Like, I be somewhere with my boys, and they have a fresh cut. And I be mm-hmm. like, dang, man, who you went to? Yeah, you know what I'm so saying? You gotta like, start canvassing. And gotta go start them. canvassing. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, next week I'm gonna try this. Like, yeah, I'm like well, where do you go? I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And then you, you, you factor in, like, how far is that for me? Mm-hmm. But they got people that'll go. I yeah. know people that drive 40 minutes for a, a haircut. You know what I mean? Good barbers, man. It's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hard to find. That demand is there, man. That demand is there. I don't know. I think something else. I I don't know. I get into the structural things too, cause mm-hmm. I like knowing like where the post office is. I like knowing where the city hall is, cause <laughs> that's just me, man. I like to know that stuff. Like, bro, if I got to ha- handle some business or get something sent off, like I I need to know where that's at so I can go. There. Yeah, and I gotta know who worked there. You know what I'm saying? Don't is it a shrew lady at that post office? Like I'm gonna go to the other one, you know what I'm saying? Or a, 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 just a sour personality? I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm, I'm a post office hopper wherever it's close. Wherever it's closest, I don't get no preference. You only got I don't visit post offices like that. That's a transactional thing. You don't need that to be uh, personal. I, I mm-hmm. might go to a post office. Well, you know, bro, Twice, you I ever you, like talk most? to somebody and they'll be like, man, they be tripping over there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, damn, I don't know if I want to deal with that. Yeah, I think that was like the biggest thing for me getting acclimated where I was like, oh, yeah, I live here now when I had like my mm-hmm. spots where I ate at mm-hmm. for every place. Mm-hmm. Had my little grocery store that I go to. Then when you start finding like little spots you enjoy, like mm-hmm. nightlife wise, just bars and stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cause once you find that man, that's just that kind of be your little groove. Yeah, that'd be my groove. Man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then having the mechanic, mm-hmm. that was massive too. And or is there are there anything is there anything in like within the house that you have to go through to like you know get yourself acclimated to a place like you know what I'm saying like. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just, a simple man. Uh, shoot, just mm-hmm. a bed. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Wi-Fi. Okay, of course. A of couch. Course. Yeah. You straight. Uh, Something to eat on. Yeah. <laughs> I would say some just cookware. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. That that kind of go into our uh, apartment. Yeah, episode. the apartment I'm episode. Say, yeah, because you start naming that, and you say a shower curtain, and then you got to get into all the little the, small the little, yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you got to have a place to get those things. But, you know yeah, what I'm man. Mm-hmm. But like I say, food plays such a big part in my life that once I feel comfortable and be like, okay, I got places for all this, because mm-hmm. that's when you start. Like I say, because we talked about that. Oh, that's a lot of callbacks this episode where we mm-hmm. talked about food and we associate that with home sometimes. So it's like mm-hmm. that that's kind of why it make me feel comfortable knowing that, oh, mm-hmm. you know, I've been eating this my whole life. I desire this. Mm-hmm. It's a comfort food for me. I can get this out here. OK, mm-hmm. that make me feel better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I can get that somewhere. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. if I lived in a place where I couldn't find any of the food I like, man, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's when I would finally kind of get homesick or something. When mm-hmm. Knowing it. Mm hmm. I can't even get something similar to that, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and you talking to somebody like you know, I've been growing my hair now for almost a year, and I I still have never set foot in a salon. Like mm-hmm. I just don't know. I'm just I'm just I don't know how that culture is. Like, is that where men go to get their hair locks done? I think a lot of us just find a home girl that know how to do it, mm-hmm. and then we go there. But they got some fire hairstyles that you can get from the salon. Mm-hmm. I just be feeling like, man, I don't know. Like, I feel like I got to know my order when I go in there. Like, okay, I came to get this. And, I'm and about to say, I know you can't just walk in. These yeah, days. you got to make an appointment. Okay. But if it's a place you never been, how do you know who worked there? That's Dang. what I'm saying. You kind of got to go have like a little, <laughs> a, Here's little a, a little pre-trial. Like you just kind of go in there and you just trying to get information. Uh huh. Uh huh. Then you come back another day. Yeah. And then it's such it's such a thing that like. You walking in there as the new person. Everybody in there is probably regular. So they probably yeah. like, man, who is this dude? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I ain't going to lie. That scares me a lot. <laughs> that yeah. scares me a lot. And it does for anything. We're figuring out anything because it's just like, is it going to be what I want? But yeah, because I always, though, I've always applaud, applauded people that move to, like, new places and not know anyone. Because yeah. not only do you got to do all that, but now you got to. Mm-hmm. Develop a social circle. Oh, I, oh! I'm glad you said that. And I think that would be honestly, we talked about that stuff, but I think that's probably like the hardest one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Building. So, um, just to give a little background, in twenty at the, in 2019, end of 2019, I moved to to New York, mm-hmm. and I moved to this place called Beacon, New York. Beacon, New York is about an hour train ride uh north of new york city um and it's funny because uh, that's where a lot of the like the nickname is like little brooklyn i don't know why they called it that i don't know i, I didn't know nothing about it but it was like where i was staying because my my friend scott shout out to scott and Devin. uh i was living with them mm-hmm. and um when i got there uh i remember just being like okay i'm in a new place i'm in a new state you yeah. got to imagine, I'm from Texas. Yep. I moved to New York, and not New York City, like a, a town in New York. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was. you could tell it's been through the the, the gentrification mm-hmm. gauntlet, because they had boutiques and donut stores that were not like Shipley's. It was just like little things like that, mm-hmm. uh, just to paint that picture. But like, I remember like, Talking to Scott and uh, and Devin, who are both white males, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a black man, right? And we would go out to, like, bars and, you know, we'd get invited to little parties and everything like that. And I didn't see a lot of people that looked like me. Mm -hmm. So I had to, like, get out of my my shell. And it was just funny for me to say because, you know, I'm an extroverted person. I don't don't really have a problem meeting people. Mm -hmm. But, like... The doormat wasn't there, mm-hmm. or it wasn't readily there. Yeah, and I felt I f- I went through a lot of home homesickness out there because I couldn't create community. Yeah, and I think that might be my biggest thing. Mm-hmm. I'm a little spoiled out here in Dallas because I have you and Kendra and my friends from college, so it's like I can just slide into it. Yeah, but I think there's a lot of people that go to new places that don't know no, nobody, like yeah. you said. Yeah, and you got to build that community. And it made me think that, like, so I was going to the staples of blackness, like a barbershop, 
mm-hmm. like a soul food kitchen yeah. to like you know what I'm saying they even had a couple of like Black Lives Matter like rallies and stuff mm-hmm. so I went there looking to create community and it was kind of hard you know because yeah. the New York people kind of stiff yeah you know what I'm saying <laughs> they are still yeah. it's hard to just be like hey I'm, I'm Julius you know yeah. what I'm saying like oh what do you want from me like what I just, I'm trying to get cool with some brothers out here, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You don't want to like, you know, yeah, like, you want to impose because they yeah, got then they, it's a yeah, different culture out there. And yeah, and they got just coming off on like somebody like that mm-hmm. out there might be different than and, here. And, yeah, and that man just probably worked the whole day. He got his own little routine, and here I come. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, that was a struggle for me. And I think that because um, I was in a lot of arenas. That I had to like navigate just being the only black person there. Yeah. And it made me feel very uncomfortable at times. Yeah. And to answer, like, did I ever fully get acclimated to Beacon? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Did I enjoy my time? Yes. Yeah. But I didn't, but I didn't have what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to build those relationships with with people. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? I wanted that. And, I think that's something that I, I I know I need personally. Yeah. As somebody that's like extroverted, that's social, mm-hmm. for me to feel like I'm someplace, I got to feel like I'm connected to the people there. Yeah. Or I can like find people to, to like teach me and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They had a restaurant called BJ's. Shout out to BJ's. And uh, it was black owned. Mm-hmm. And they had an older guy in there. His name was like Franklin or something like that. He was like the, I think he was like the, boyfriend or the owner or something like that or, or mm-hmm. the cousin and I would go in there on, on in the morning just to get a little sausage sandwich <laughs> just to let you know how they was a sausage sandwich right and me and him would chop it up for like 20 minutes and like after that I felt so good like mm-hmm. like dang like I was able to share my a shared experience you know what I'm saying like man I'm a black man you're a black man I'm from Texas you from New York but we like Still linked on a couple of things, and mm-hmm. and that brought me closer to that place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and he was able to give me like history of the place. Like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Such and such used to be here, mm-hmm. and this is why this is this area is like that. Yeah, I think that's another thing for me. But I'm sorry, I was rambling. But <laughs> oh no, that, that was good though, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think that was kind of the thing that happened. Where like you say, when I moved out to Dallas, I kind of got lucky because I had Kendall, and he. From Dallas, so he had his whole like mm-hmm. you know network already. But mm-hmm. I think for me, it got to well. I would just say it was like at times I I was just like okay, now it's time for me to kind of develop my own as yeah. well. Like, oh, yeah, that can be a portion of it. Ooh, but got to chill. My bad. <laughs> let me go out and just. But you know me, I'm not really like out there. Like hey, that. how's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but I, I just more of a natural organic person. Like I'm just going to mm-hmm. live my life and meet people along the way. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Luckily started grad school and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. met Joseph and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ended up being a yeah, good friend a, a of good mine. Friend of yours, man. Yeah, yeah. And then we moved back out here, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Like, you know what I mean? And, um, it had really just like, I don't know, man. Because I've been in that situation before. Like, I lived in Montana for, like, two months. Yeah. When I was in AmeriCorps, my little service program. And there were no black people out there. And that whole program is about coming here, completing your project, doing your mission, Mm -hmm. and then, like, getting out of there. But you're living there. And one of the things that they, like, stressed to us during our training it was just like what are ways you can like make yourself feel more comfortable there and make you feel like a, a, a member of the community basically mm-hmm. and like we did like little initiatives we went to like we, we volunteered a lot so like we were able to go to like the shelters the food banks yeah which are really cool places because you get a chance to talk to real people not like the yeah aristocrats of it's not mm-hmm. like they're the aristocrats of society you know what I mean uh, and that gave me a lot of knowledge, which made me think like I feel more attached to a place when I know the people, I know what they've been through, things like that. You yeah. know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man, uh, <laughs> that's funny, man, because I now that I think about, it, I've been in that situation a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and I and I know that's what I need. And it taught me that. Mm-hmm. I, I tell you that it taught me that. Because yep. coming from my hometown, I'm surrounded by everything I already know. Yeah, literally everything. You mm-hmm. know, you're born into it. Yeah, every building, every building. I can tell you yeah. who own it, where they stay. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Where the kids stay. I went to school with them. But that is the fun part of moving places, like learning somewhere for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. even if I only know like. It from like a you know my perspective which may not be the whole city but it's just you know mm-hmm. my experience but mm-hmm. still enjoyable to like mm-hmm. move somewhere you haven't moved before and learn it that's why i like i say i like change another mm-hmm. call back and mm-hmm. i like mm-hmm. having that opportunity to just explore somewhere new experience you know mm-hmm. life in a different way mm-hmm. but like i say there are staples i need just to feel comfortable I about to say, like, how do you feel when you're, like, in a situation where you're, like, suspended in the unknown? Because that's kind of like what we're talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get somewhere and you just don't know nothing. You know what I mean? It's it's rough at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. getting acclimated. and mm-hmm. Like I said, man, I... <laughs> it's, it's rough. Uh-huh. Like I, I said, I really feel lo- like I really feel like that when I don't know where to eat at in the area. Like seriously, mm-hmm. like I just feel like mm-hmm. lost, and then you got to start using Yelp and Google. No, oh my God, I never use Yelp. You got to go through that process, mm-hmm, and it's mm-hmm. trial and error. And yeah, you got to go there. You fight, and like the thing is, when you go there, you might like it, but you don't know if you ordered the right thing. Yeah. So you got to like try two or three things on the menu yeah. just to see, like. Okay, I'm going to give the seafood a chance. I'm like, yeah, it was okay. I don't know if I really want to go back. But the funny thing is, like, anywhere I am, I normally end up finding, like, one of my favorite spots by just literally riding around Mm -hmm. and being like, okay, it's a lot of cars out there. Mm -hmm. That Mm -hmm. mean, you know. And there are some, (laughs) there are some telltale signs of some places that let me know, Um, like, that place good. Yeah, they got a lot of cars outside. Mm -hmm. I see a line. Okay, Mm -hmm. I know. Mm Mm-hmm. If or I if see, it's like, because I like, you know, just yeah. that, that seafood chicken spot, uh-huh, and if uh-huh. it's a little run down. I'm about to say, if it's a little J, if it got a screen door on it, mm-hmm. I'm like, man, they pro- that was probably good. Got the burglar bars on there. <laughs> I just, I, I do that still. I'll be, I'll be passing by stuff. I'm like, I know that place fire. I know that place fire. I know it's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've been thinking like, they put that money into the food, mm-hmm. not, to, not, not the look of the place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Uh, same thing. Like I was telling uh, my my girl the other day because we was in um, we went down to College Station or whatever. Uh, we went fishing and stuff, and we went to a gas station. And it, and like <laughs> this, how I know a gas station for me, bro. When they sell single single beers in a little cooler, mm-hmm. not the ones like up there, but it be yeah. like a little cooler with the ice, with the ice yeah. poured over. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I like, okay, I know where I'm at. Like, I don't even gotta look at nothing else. I know everything that's in this gas station based off that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I, you know, we were spoiled by this, so I don't even have this expectation. <laughs> but if you find the gas station with the teas. Oh. Man, the, Man, mm, that's a game changer, bro. That's what? that's a different type of happiness because <laughs> you know that's out here in the city, man. Yeah, you just, it's it's so commercialized. Like that's yeah. like a. I I remember like trying to explain like, but where I go to get a white tea? Like where I go to get a black tea? Like what you mean? Like go to the mall? Like no, bro. It sh- I like it should be a gas station. Yep, where you can just go. Where I can go and just get a little seven dollar white tea. I'm yep. probably gonna throw it on a day of. Mm-hmm. Go do my little event And I'll probably be back tomorrow For a black tea You know yep. what I'm saying <laughs> Don't understand that man. They don't understand that They also don't You remember trying to explain I would say cages But nobody know what cages is But explaining what that is Yeah I remember like when I was in college I was like But where do I go to get like A takeout plate They probably serve wings And seafood And yeah. it's probably got the choice of rice and they was yeah, like, well, it's like I say, it's like it's some Asian food aspects in it, yeah. but that's not really their thing. But they had it. The like meat, you can't get orange chicken, but you can get some shrimp fried rice and some eggs. Yes, or yes. Or you can get you can get a pork chop. Yeah. <laughs> and turn around and get like you know, yeah, what they saying? have burgers too. <laughs> but they got wings, but they got wings, and like you get the choice of rice or fries. And they come with a yeah. little salad yeah, that don't yes. really be salad that yeah, nobody just eat. be lettuce with just. <laughs> It'd be an iceberg with just like ranch over it. Yep. 
I don't know nobody that just eat that, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm like, that's the, that's hard to describe. I yeah. tried to like, yeah, I ain't got like the place where it's like, well, do you just want fried chicken? I'm like, no, no, like, yeah, that's an aspect of it, but nah, like mm-hmm, they got mm-hmm. other stuff too. Like, yeah, they got other stuff. Like, I'm about to say, is <laughs> look, is is the menu numbered? Mm-hmm. That'll probably let you know <laughs> if the menu is numbered and it go past twenty, no, it go past ten. Yeah, you probably you probably in the right spot. Bro. Yeah, that's the thing too. You say, "Can I get like, when you say, can I get rice with this or French fries?" Like, yeah. if they don't have that option, I don't think that's the place. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm that's talking not the place I'm talking about. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It come with a, you know, what I'm saying. It's probably a little kid back there mm. just running around too, like <laughs> or just sitting right there in, in the <laughs> yeah, lobby. on his iPad. Mm-hmm. And you just like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, 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 okay. I know where we at now. I know where we at now. And they had that. They got that out here, but that's not the thing that's celebrated. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's <laughs> the little hole in the wall spots, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that, man. I'm not saying, see, that's the stuff that like mm-hmm. make me feel home and acclimated because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it remind me of home being able to eat at places like that mm-hmm. and i'd be like where do people go that like want to get drunk but it ain't a club mm-hmm. it's it's like a bar but like yeah you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. it's like the post up spot kind of too yeah. you know what i'm saying like we got that everywhere where we found so mm-hmm. it was kind of like hard finding those things and i guess that's just like it's a small town in it, but to be honest, it's really like the hood in it. Like you know, what I'm saying? it's like well, I, yeah, it blurs. It blurs. Like I need, I need both of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what it is? I need the option to do that. That's what it is. I need mm-hmm. the option. Like if it's a Friday and I just want to be out and I want to be with the, you know, with the crowd, I need to know where to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but it's a, um, you know, things like that, bro. Like those are things that help us make things home. Um, I sorry. I know that this probably not I mean this may be where we be for the rest of our life. I don't know. I can't call it. But if we go somewhere else, like these are things I think about. Yeah. Cause even when I think about moving, like, oh I gotta find her. Oh yeah. I gotta find another. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you were just telling me about the car wash. You said you was looking for a car wash. Don't have a car wash out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you like Things like that, it's like, oh, I got to get this and get this. And that's kind of what, like, those are those little things that, like, make people drag their feet with just ripping the Band-Aid off, like you say, yep. and just going somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, it's, you know, for some people, they don't want to relearn. No, they don't. They, you know, stuff like that. They that's just, scary to people. Yeah. That's scary to people, bro. Like, I, um, I don't know, man. It is... It's it's something that I love doing, mm-hmm. but it's something I don't want to do for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, get, you I guess that. I close. You know, I you know we kind of getting there, but I'm gonna close it out with it like this. Like, have you reached a point where like you want to be like like this is where I'm at? Like how how many more years of like fluidity in location do you, do you think, think you I have in like me? like yeah like like you think you got in you? Yeah, I don't know. I can't call it. I I. I know I don't have like, let's 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 say five. Mm-hmm. I think I got like five more years of fluidity. Then at that point, I'm like, wherever I'm at, that's where uh, I'm, I'm at. trying to put some roots down. But like, I guess the intention is like at at the end of that five years, it should be where I want to go intentionally. Yeah, not where I end up. Mm-hmm. Right? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm not trying to end up. Yeah, I'm not trying to end I'm up. Trying to go. I'm trying to come on now, boy. What a man. That boy Ed's been bars. I'm going to get another sound effect. But anyways, I think I got about, probably about five, probably about five. Five years of food. It's funny, man, because my significant other, we were talking about it the other day. She was like, you know, like, she was asking me, was I, um, do I have a five-year plan? Her daddy asked me that, too, you know, which is a crazy question. That's pretty normal. That's it's, pretty standard. It's normal, but it's crazy, <laughs> but, like, look at the world we in. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's a normal thing. I feel pressure. Okay, I feel pressure. I feel pressure. But I was telling her, uh, I said, hey, this might be a Michael Vick trying to just get about the situation. 
I said, I'm at the end of my, my last five year plan, which I really kind of am. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the post grad, this yeah. what I want to do. So I'm thinking like within the next five years, I got like that one big leap. Mm-hmm. Or like not one big leap, but the one next big step. Like, mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing this to change the whole course of my life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Which is why if I say I got the five years, you know what I mean? Because, like you said, like, I don't want to end up, I want to go. Yeah, it's a big difference. I want to make the informed decision to do this, you know what I'm saying? Because, yep. like, I don't know, man, and, and it's crazy. Like, look at the world we live in with the, with the COVID and vaccinations. We don't know what the climate going to be. If this is it for yeah. 2021, like. And work, working from home from Being home. more normalized now Exactly so. Exactly you Just yeah. never know Spot, Man Say But <laughs> Thank y'all guys again For joining us On episode 14 Of the Transferable Experience Podcast mm-hmm. Remember to do all the things On all the things And Till next time <laughs>